Thank you so much uh, for this opportunity. Um, I said it in the first, uh, first service that what Keenan was saying was almost like just took my notes and then just went with it. <laughs> I, I, I thank God because that, that shows that God has got something to say to somebody. Yeah. Um, I'm coming from Luke chapter 5, verse 4 and 5 now. When he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and uh, let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and, and we have taken nothing. Uh, nevertheless, at thy word, I'll let down the net. Father, we thank you for this word. Thank you, Lord, for the hearts that you're going to touch and change. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Uh, guys, it's, it's awesome what God does. You know, uh, when, when Pele was, was leading us in prayer and just earlier, inviting Jesus into your life, I just got taken up to say, God came down to earth to actually die on the cross for you and me. It's like launching into the deep, what I was going to talk about, launching into the deep. Jesus himself launched into the deep. When he came down to earth, he was launching himself into a place so that he could come out with something. Now, when on that day, Peter and his other business partners, these guys were fishermen by, 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 by calling, maybe let's call it that. They were fishing and they were not fishing because what they did that night, they toiled all night and they didn't get anything. At the, at, in the morning, they start, they're doing their laundry, washing their nets. Jesus is walking by and he's doing what he does. He's no longer the son of a carpenter. Now he's a preacher man. So he's preaching to people and people are thronging him. Then he thinks, oh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get a, 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 a podium. He goes to Peter and says, can I use your boat? Eh? Can I use your boat? So invite me into your boat. Just like you did this morning. Invite me into your life. So Jesus steps onto the boat and then he begins to preach. We are not told what he spoke about. But what we are told about is what happened later to the owner of the boat. Amen. You are a boat. You are a boat. When you invite him into your life, he does his business in your boat, after that, he's going to address you. He doesn't take prayer requests. He didn't take prayer requests that day. We are told that now when he had finished speaking, does it say, he said, prayer request time now? No. When he had finished speaking, does, this, does, it, does it say, Peter, what can I do for you? No. When he had finished speaking, it says in my Bible and yours too, he said unto Peter, launch into the deep. Now the problem with that statement, launching into the deep, for a fisherman who is worth his salt, you don't fish in the deep, you fish in the shallow. So what Jesus was saying was opposing what they knew. What Jesus was saying was coming against their reports. What Jesus was saying was coming against their expert opinions. What Jesus was saying, maybe you have had a, a, a report from the doctor. Oh my goodness, I can go all day. I can go all day with re doctor's reports. God bless them. They're doing their job. But when Jesus comes to the scene, he's going to give his own report. Hallelujah to Jesus' report. Hallelujah to you. Now, when Jesus comes onto your scene, he's going to put a butt into your situation. Just like Peter did here. He started off wrong. He said, we have toiled all night. He's giving Jesus all this story. I've been there. You don't know how much I've been hurt. You don't know the frustration that I've gone through. I've tried this. I've been rejected. I've been disappointed. I've been frustrated. But now there's a recovery. But at your word, I'm going to cast. At your word, I'm going to cast. Today, you must put a butt in your situation. I'm no English major. But my, my English school teacher way back then told me one thing. I remember that. When you see a but in a sentence, just know that whatever was said before is null and void. Now, whatever is going to be said after, listen to that. At your word, I will curse. And now what happened after that, I mean, you know. The guys got a lot of fish. They started inviting each other. These guys who had a history 
of not getting any fish in deep waters, got fish in deep waters. Why? Because when Jesus says, launch into the deep, he is the creator. That word commanded the fish to run into the deep. Whichever fish, wherever fish they were, they just said, hey, the master said, into the deep. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, you see, the, the, even, even at that time, fishermen fish at night. Jesus came in the morning. And he gave them the instruction to go fishing in the day. An expert would have told you, now, look, you're a carpenter. We do fishing for life, for living. You don't get fish in the day. And I'm telling you, no matter what they've said about your time, like what that time, what she's saying to me. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, when Jesus says, go fishing, launch into the deep, you launch into the deep. Now, the issue here is, you need to respond with your life. You need to be obedient. You need to be available. Peter's boat was available. You are available, are you? When you are available, when you are there, Jesus can then get onto your situation. The idea he has when we are talking about the new, he's not just focused on your issue, your, your matter. He's not even going to call a prayer request for that matter. He will deal with it. What he's after is the harvest. He's going to... What happened later is what I was talking to Kenan about. It was the day, this was the day that Peter, after getting the biggest business of his life, dropped everything and said, I will follow you. He gets the biggest deal of his life. This is business. Business is now good. And he says, I'll follow you. And that day, his life was changed. Jesus wants your life. He's after you. But more than that, he's after the next person. God bless you.